Hi students and welcome back to Computer Practice with Mr. H and today we're going to do a column. Now in this question paper they give you two paragraphs and there's a little instruction on the left hand side. Insert two columns. The column um, happiness should be in column one and the text that starts with the words with must be in column two. So let's just look at this. Here is the text that starts with with and here is the text that starts with happiness. Now we have a problem here. If we're going to put this in a column, with is going to be in the first column and happiness will then automatically go to the second column and that's not what the instruction wants. The instruction wants happiness to be in the first column and with to be in the second column. So somehow we need to move the first column to um, to the second paragraph and the second paragraph to the first paragraph and we're also going to insert a page a page break at some stage so let's quickly go to our document and here we have the text so to move this paragraph to the second paragraph what i'm going to do is the following well the e some way you can just cut it basically cut and paste it to the second paragraph or you can move it so what you're going to do is you're going to select the first paragraph you're going to press shift on your keyboard and you're going to press con i'm sorry shift on your keyboard and you're going to pre press alt on your keyboard and you're going to use your arrow keys and you're just going to move the down arrow in this case we want to move this paragraph down so we just we're just going to to move the paragraph down all right so I'm just going to do that again. Let's quickly just make um, let's make a space. Let's insert an extra line, and then we select our text. We press Shift on our keyboard. We press Alt on our keyboard. We hold those two keys in, and we use the down arrow key once, twice, again and again to move it down all right you can just insert a line here as well so it looks nice so what i did was i just used the shift and the alt key to move the paragraphs and now we have happiness first we can move this up now a little bit we now have happiness first and we have with second so what i'm now going to do is now that they are in the correct order i'm going to select both paragraphs i'm going to click on my layout tab under my layout tab i'm going to click on columns i'm going to go down to more columns and i'm going to select two columns and click ok all right happiness is in my first column but there's a part of the happiness paragraph that is still on the second line and that's or in the second column and that should not be because I want with to be the only paragraph in my second column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor behind um, the text that needs to go to the first column and I'm going to insert a column break. So I'm going to go click on layout again and I'm going to click on breaks and I'm going to insert a column break. And once I've do, done that, as you can see the text went, that's part of the first column went back to the first column. And now what I can do is I can simply just move this text up with my backspace key and there's my two columns. If I wanted to put a line in between, I'm going to select my text, I'm going to go back to columns, more columns, and I'm just going to insert a line if it was asked. Alright, don't do things that isn't asked, but that's how you would insert a line if you wanted to insert a line. And if you want to insert a, a, a page break, then put your cursor in between the open space, press control on your keyboard, press enter. Um, to insert a page break and there's your page, there's your page break all right alternatively what you can also do is if you want to insert a page break 
you can just put your cursor in front of the, the text that needs to go to the second page you press control and enter or you can just go to breaks and insert a page break all right that's the same thing um, alternatively there's another third way again put your cursor in front of the text the text it needs to go and insert go to insert the insert tab and click on page break all right so all three methods is basically the same you put your cursor in front of what needs to go to the second page remember control on your keyboard hold the control key and press the enter key to insert a page break or use layout breaks page break or use insert page break so those are your three methods to insert a page break and how to insert columns thank you students for watching and join me in the next video where i will be showing you how to insert an end note